West Bond model 7400B. It's a uh, 45 degree uh, wedge bonder here. The tool, the tool I was just replacing for the new tool in there, and it's uh, the part number is right here. It's made by SPT. And the thing to note is they do use a long, which is a point. 828 length and it has that 45 degree angle feed and this also has a radiant heater on here I have it set to 5 on the uh, the pot here for the tool, you know, tool heat setting and I'm using a house uh, work holder here and a uh, coupon uh, there is no work holder that comes with this system you have to provide your own. And I just want to point out that we do have, there's three buffer settings here to, to put uh, various settings in. I'm using buffer number one. And if I shut this light off, it'll help you see that screen a little better. So here we use uh, buffer one. I'll just step through it by hitting the edit button. And this is where you'll set up your parameters. There are suggestions, so I just follow the suggestions on each one of these. For instance, the power for bond one would be 300. Bond two the same. Time is 30 for one and two. Ramping is off. As you can see, the, uh, I just kept these suggestions in as the settings, so it works fine. Just plug the light back in, there's a little phone jack type connector here and that's for your light. Uh, half inch spool, we're using a one mil gold wire. It's fed through this feed tube here. It's a little hard to see, it's a little feed tube, so you gotta pinch it through there until it comes out the, behind the uh, clamp here. And then open the clamps up and you can feed it through your wedge tool tip. Okay, uh, the best thing to do is I'll just do a couple of bonds to show it operational. Let's see, uh, manual machine. Oh, there's one other thing, there's a height adjustment here for your, you can adjust your workstage. Uh, so I'll just do a couple of bonds. It'll beep that loop and then the clamps close so it'll uh, allow for a better loop form formation. And so I did two and the tail is Spawn one, loop, spawn two. Let's continue on bonding. Okay, we're going to get a uh, you'll get a copy of this manual here, which is for the 7400B. And I uh, just wanted to say that the uh, utilities are necessary for this machine are the uh, 110 volts. And you get a power plug in the back, and you'll need an air uh, connection, compressed air. I have it set at uh, an external regulator set at 50 psi, but I think the minimum is 35 psi. And what that will allow you to do is to uh, operate the clamp, you'll hear it working here. I can open, close the clamp, you can do a feed. Over here is your, where you set your uh, temperature for your tool heat. There's a chart inside the manual that explains exactly what five uh, relates to, or corresponds to. And then over here you have your edit and enter button, you have an ultrasonic test button. And you can input some of your data here using the uh, switches here. Reset and then you power on and off button.